What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. We are gonna do shoulders and triceps today in our new apparel. Our new apparel. Look at these leggings guys. Look at the leggings. Look at the leggings. Are we twerking? I kind of. <laughs> I don't know. I don't so these do are, if you guys have not seen these before, these are the new, the mini beast, but these are low waisted. So they also come in high waisted where they'll come up to about here. These ones are the low waisted. Which I love and which you love too. Because we're both very square. Yes. The girls with the small, super small waist, you guys can get right. get away with that. Not so those. we love them. So we decided we were going to film shoulders and triceps in them today. And then I got the crop top. It's just tucked under. It comes right. down to about here. So. And the new white sports bra. So let's get into shoulders and triceps. We're going to have a little fun and get all pumped up. She's leading the way. Yes, I am. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do swings. So this is a move that I got from John Meadows and I think another coach. Um, so basically, what you do is this is just we're just doing one set. You can do any one anywhere from 50 to 75 reps just to get a lot of blood in the rear delts. So literally, you're barely moving the weight. You're just letting the arm lift and drop, lift and drop.
Alright, so we're gonna get into Arnold presses. pushing your elbows forward, and then as soon as you can't do any more, we flip it. Um, right now it's kind of light, so we'll just do, let's say, like 12, and then flip your hand grip and bang out another 12. And then we'll start making, we did 16, okay. Now I gotta do 16 and 16. Feel how much easier it is? A little bit. And you're ready with 16 the other way.
Next is going to be the Z press, which is going to be our kind of heavy compound movement for training today. You've done it before with me. I don't know if we've done it on video before. I don't remember. I think we just did it for the gram. We just did it for the gram. Yeah. So I did put Guy Cicerino through this a couple months ago. He had a love-hate relationship with it. Most people do. This gets your core very heavily involved as well as isolating your shoulders. So let's do it and we'll kind of talk about it when we get set up. Okay. So Jen is going to sit down very carefully because she's a little bit tender. Okay, so bar is going to be around shoulder height, which is perfect here. She's going to lean in with her shoulders out, or hands outside of her shoulders, good. So you're going to get the bar right on your front rack, bring your feet together though. And you want to drive it through. So as you come up, you're going to flex your quads while you're pressing and kind of drive your heels into the ground, okay? That's what's going to keep your core engaged. So you can bring the bar into your shoulders. Good, and you're just going to press directly overhead, popping your head through, it's going to keep you nice and straight. Good, there you go. Good. A big thing too is Jen is doing a really good job here, she's not hyperextending. A lot of times people will lean back. She's doing a really good job at keeping her core dialed in. Do like eight. gonna gingerly get up. <laughs> like an old lady. Like an old lady. Oh shit. I don't think I did. When I read when I did them this uh -huh. week I didn't do them like that. I didn't lock my legs, I didn't keep my feet. It makes it when you lock your legs you're actually able to like really engage your core. And I do this, I talk about this a lot when I'm bench pressing, teaching somebody like bench press too. A lot of times people like put their feet up on the bench or those shifting around all the time. You want to get like locked and loaded and you're still using your legs and everything while you're doing all these different movements. Yeah. It's just different. Yeah.
six? Yeah. Uh, what we, uh, so the, the point of this is to see how many we can do for the minimum of what? Um, eight, six, four, two. Right. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So should we put five some? Yeah. But you're in a position where, like, if I needed to, I could literally just pull it like a death off of you. But you should be fine. So, four. I'm really happy you're bringing this up, actually. So I, there's different ways that you can hold it. I personally don't like to really hold on at all. I put the machine right here on my hands. I don't even hold on to the handles. And I just drive out. That's how I do my rear delts when I'm face down on the bench, too. That's the position. That's me. My muscle connection, that's how I feel in my rear delts. So I also like to keep my head down because my traps are already big enough. And when you put your head up, it fires the traps a little bit more. So I, I don't even know what the way it is. All right, so let's just... So uh, that's as far as I'm going. As soon as I feel the traction, I'm good. So I'm just gonna do a set of 12. I'm not gonna go back any further than this because I'm contracted the whole entire time. So uh, flex and then slow back. Flex and then slow back. I don't know how to do this. 315. Okay. Now it's Christmas. All right, now it's Kristen's turn. Same thing. Shaking, sorry guys. Flexed and you just 
jacked, so. Are they here just pumped up? Or are you just No. Okay, there we go. Also, be careful to see sometimes just bumps. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do a drop set now, but did you, did you raise I did raise it already. So I'm gonna do 12, and then you're gonna drop it down, whatever. And how many drop sets am I doing? Until three or four. Uh, to complete failure? Yeah. Shh, okay. So failure, 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 failure. Okay. Yeah, I'll monitor like how you're doing. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna touch it. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, okay. I thought I was in a good spot. I got long ass arms. Okay, here we go.
12 right here. Go. Keep going, seven, eight, two more, two more, two more, two more. Mm. And relax. Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, two more. Nine, ten, like it. Go. Yeah, we're at 40 now. Mm. Someone says she has to do 41, huh? You going for 50, you bitch? Mm -mm. Oh, 46. 46? <laughs> so that was a super fun shoulder workout. What did you think of the Z press? Yeah, fun. That's what, yeah. Um, you didn't yeah. die. No, I didn't die. <laughs> um, and she spot me, kind of. Um, but it was good. It was good. I hope you guys liked it. You should try some of this stuff um, with the queuing. So, mm -hmm. like, that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that you guys are doing it and doing it with purpose. Um, right. So you have really good mind muscle connection. So yes. it's about showing you guys good workouts, but also about mm -hmm. teaching technique and stuff. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. This has been a really good shoulder and tricep workout. I'm exhausted and super pumped. We're huge. Huge. We're huge. huge. We're jacked. We are. We're huge. Hope you guys liked the workout, <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time.